like to find out how you tell stories. First, I'm going to tell you a story while we follow along in the book. When I have finished telling you the story, it will be your turn to tell the story using the same book. You ready? Okay. Frog, Where Are You? by Mercer Mayer. There once was a boy who had a dog and a pet frog. He kept the frog in a large jar in his bedroom. One night, while he and his dog were sleeping, the frog climbed out of the jar. He jumped out of an open window. When the boy and the dog woke up the next morning, they saw that the jar was empty. The boy looked everywhere for the frog. The dog looked for the frog too. When the dog tried to look in the jar, he got his head stuck. The boy called out the open window, Frog, where are you? The dog leaned out the window with the jar still stuck on his head. The jar was so heavy that the dog fell out of the window head first. The boy picked up the dog to make sure he was okay. The dog wasn't hurt, but the jar was smashed. The boy and the dog looked outside for the frog. The boy called for the frog. He called down a hole in the ground while the dog barked at some bees in a beehive. A gopher popped out of the hole and bit the boy right on his nose. Meanwhile, the dog was still bothering the bees, jumping up on the tree and barking at them. The beehive fell down and all of the bees flew out. The bees were angry at the dog for ruining their home. The boy wasn't paying any attention to the dog. He had noticed a large hole in a tree, so he climbed up the tree and called down the hole. All of a sudden, an owl swooped out of the hole and knocked the boy to the ground. The dog ran past the boy as fast as he could because the bees were chasing him. The owl chased the boy all the way to a large rock. The boy climbed up on the rock and called again for his frog. He held on to some branches so he wouldn't fall. But the branches weren't really branches, they were deer antlers. The deer picked up the boy on his head. The deer started running with the boy still on his head. The dog ran along too. They were getting close to a cliff. The deer stopped suddenly and the boy and the dog fell over the edge of the cliff. There was a pond below the cliff. They landed with a splash right on top of one another. They heard a familiar sound. The boy told the dog to be very quiet. They crept up and looked behind a big log. There they found the boy's pet frog. He had a mother frog with him. They had some baby frogs, and one of them jumped toward the boy. The baby frog liked the boy and wanted to be his new pet. The boy and the dog were happy to have a new pet frog to take home. As they walked away, the boy waved and said goodbye to his old frog and his family. Okay, now it's your turn to tell a story back to me. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there was a boy with a pet dog and a pet frog. And one night, he put the frog in a jar. While the boy was asleep, he, the frog climbed out of the jar and went through the open window. In the morning, the boy woke and saw that the frog was no longer in the jar. The boy searched everywhere for the frog. The dog looked too. He even looked inside the jar, but he got his head stuck. The boy called out for the frog, but the, the jar was too heavy on the dog's head. So he fell down. 
The boy came down too to see if the dog was okay. He was fine, but there, there the jar was shattered. The boy started looking everywhere. He called down a hole to see if the frog were fine, while the dog was barking at a beehive. But a gopher came out and bit the boy right on the nose. The dog was barking so much that the beehive fell down. The bees were angry that the dog had destroyed their home. Meanwhile, the boy looked through, noticed the, a hole up in a tree. He climbed the tree to see if the frog was in it. Instead, an owl came out of it and scared the boy. Meanwhile, the dog was running past him because the bees were chasing him. The boy was being chased by the owl, so he got on a rock. He kept on looking for him and held on to some branches so he wouldn't fall off. But the branches were not branches. They were antlers of a deer. Suddenly, the deer started running and running until the, um, but there was a cliff nearby. The deer let go of the boy and the boy and the dog fell on in the, off the cliff. They landed in some, a pond, but they heard something. The boy told the dog to be very quiet. They looked behind the log and found the dog, and found the frog. The frog had a uh, a wife and some kids. One of the f baby frogs jumped toward the boy. The f baby frog wanted to stay with the boy as a new pet. So he, the boy was excited for him to come home with a new pet. As they went home, he waved goodbye to the frog and his family.